Hey, Murph. Hi, Crystal. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. Are you wearing green? I'm not. Are you? I'm not. I got pinched on the butt by my husband this morning. Oh, my earrings have <laughs> a little green in them. Oh, does your, nice. Does your family get into St. Patty's Day at all? No, it's never been a really big thing. I mean, I used to make um, a Guinness chocolate cake with Bailey's frosting. So that kind of became the traditional thing. But yes. we never, yeah, we never really like had a big to do. Not really big drinkers in our family. <laughs> one, one part of my family is really into it. So I'll be going over there tonight for um, a little festivity, some corned beef and cabbage, which I, I understand they don't even eat in Ireland, but right, whatever. It's what it's us Americans. Americans taking a, a holiday and then changing it to how we want it. What we do. That's what we do. That we, we do best. <laughs> so today, let's talk about our big fig mattresses. And I'm dying to know how you feel about yours. You sleep on yours a lot more than I do. I am. Um, my partner goes to bed really early, so we don't typically both sleep in that bed. So I want to hear what you, you and James are thinking. How is it working out for you? Do you love it? All that fun stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so we um, we've loved the transition to it. So we've been sleeping on it for about a month now. Yeah. Um, the biggest concern that I had was that James is not a firm mattress kind of sleeper. So I was concerned that he may not enjoy it as much. But mm -hmm. both of us have really um, found that it's supportive for our backs. Um, it's comfortable. It's got like, I was afraid it was going to be too firm because everybody's like, it's a very firm mattress. Right. Um, yeah. And it is like, I really appreciate the support of it and all of that. But um, it's not like some unbearable firmness kind of thing. Okay, good. So what did you, you came from which kind of mattress to the big, big thick? I know you had some issues with the last mattress. What was that brand? Did you want to say? So, yeah. So initially, like, let me give you like the full picture. So we have had like a long time searching for a really nice bed. So about 15 years ago, we bought a sort of posture bed. Pedic, I think is what it's called. Um, and it was okay, but the springs were so um, like intrusive. So you'd lay down on the mattress and the spring would like pop through and like pop you in the back. You know, it just felt like it was just digging into you. So <clears throat> we were like, okay, this is, it's got to go. We can't do this. And we decided we're going to really lay down some big cash. Um, when COVID hit, because we were like, we're stuck in our homes. We really need a good mattress. Um, you know, the bed rotting is a real thing. <laughs> I do that every once in a while on the weekends. Um, and so we spent a lot of money getting a um, adjustable sleep number bed with a, um, it was a split bed. So we could have different levels of firmness and then um, a heating element at your feet. And so basically it was a uh, and it constantly broke down and it got to the point where and it was only my side. So I have a thing. I really think it has to do with my weight because I'm a lot heavier than my partner. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, like every time they'd have to come out and fix it up until the warranty went out, um, it was always my side that had some issues. Crap. And so uh, before we switched over and the mattress would not inflate anymore, it would not mm -hmm. hold it. So I would inflate it and then I'd go to sleep. And about 45 minutes later, I would literally be on the base. Oh, man. Wow. And those are expensive, right? That's a lot of money. Yikes. Yeah, it was almost $10,000. Holy yeah. shit. So then what'd you do? It was a lot of money to put down and then... And once, well, basically like we were like, we're going to have to get a new bed because I called them and said, this is the third time I've had to have somebody come out. And they were like, oh, we've changed the foam. Oh, well, you know, we'll come and do this or that. And I was like, okay, well, how much is that going to cost? And they were like, yeah, it's going to be around a thousand dollars. And I was like, a thousand dollars. And that's not even counting the labor of the person coming out here doing that. I just was like, this is not sustainable, you guys. Like, I purchased this mattress really thinking I was making a big investment. Like, this was going to last yeah. me probably close to the end of my life. And right. it lasted less than four years. Damn. 
Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. And so we were just like, you know what? We're going to get a big fig. Like it, it, I had researched and research searched. Um, that's what led to the Sealy. That's what led to the, um, uh, the sleep number. And, and finally it just like big fig had not been on the market and not had the advertising that they had had previously when I was looking for those mattresses, because I was like typing into Google, like best mattress for a fat person, you know, and just trying to find something that would talk about weight capacity and, and, you know, durability and just nothing would come up the way it, nobody talked about fat bodies and a mattress. And then in the last like three years, Big Fig had just blown up. And everybody that I know that's of size was like, oh, you need to get a Big Fig. Oh, you need to get a Big Fig. So we were like, okay, we're getting a Big Fig. We went to Seattle for FatCon and um, they were one of the sponsors there. So we bought a bunch of raffle tickets hoping that we would win. And we were one number off one number it was so wild but the girl who won was just so deserving like you you enter uh, yeah. a new marriage you, you deserve a new mattress <laughs> I, I described her as she was like um levitating when i saw how excited she was when i was talking to the big fig people I'm like y'all should have been there you should have seen the person that won oh and by the way murph was one ticket off one number oh, off one number it was like it was like a four and then we were a five like it was just like <laughs> but it was so it was great to watch her win. I'm so glad I mentioned that to Big Fig too about how because I know you had already been doing your research for this mattress, and I wanted to tell people you know they they did give Murph and me each a mattress. We didn't ask for it; they offered it to us. And I'm also very um, aware of when sometimes people give you product, it's harder to be very honest with your review. Uh -huh. So one of the things I said, which I say to everybody. If I don't love it, I cannot be dishonest. Yeah. I might not blast it out there. I hate this, you know, whatever restaurant or whatever it is, but I'm definitely, if people ask me directly, I'm going to have to tell them the truth. And so you, if you want to do that and you're okay with us being honest, and again, we're not going to like, you know, go to all this trouble to like tear down big fig if we hate it, but we have to be honest. So yeah, just so people know, yeah, it was given to both of us and you know, I, it was a shocker to both of us. We, we, we never thought this could happen. I never, never occurred to me. It's very generous of them. And you needed a king. I needed a Cali king. And so generous, right? So generous. And I mean, I think we were just as excited as the girl who won at FatCon because we were just like, you're going to give us both a mattress? Like, what? I know. And they gave us a waterproof mattress cover, too. I was like, whoa. Like, I hadn't no. I was so surprised. Did you get the base? I did. I bought the adjustable base. Yeah. And I also bought their sheets and um, their body pillow. So I was like, if they're going to give me the mattress, I'm going to get all the accoutrement, you know, yeah. and support them and, and that process too. So, yeah. Our, our mattress that we used, we replaced it with uh, the big fig was probably 20 years old. It yeah. was, it was done. It was tired. <laughs> yeah. It was ready to go to the dumpster. Yep. So it was really exciting for us too. Yeah. And my, my cute, introvert partner said when I told him do the first thing do we have to write a review I go, no I'll take care of that <laughs> we're gonna do a whole photo shoot in the bed babe in our bedroom right. <laughs> like Morgie and her husband <laughs> yeah yeah they're She's so sick. into it though they're so great with their yeah like their advertising my husband was kind of the same way he was like uh like what are what's the what's the requirement for this like what, what what's gonna happen here what's the catch <laughs> Yeah, they are. They're pretty awesome. Exactly. They're very generous. And yeah, um, I've known about Big Fig for quite a while, yeah. but I just, I don't know. I guess I never really, I haven't bought a bed in a long time. I hadn't thought about buying a bed in a long time. And I, I was always impressed with their ads. And I, you know, I hear people raving about them all the time. I've seen people on, I know you and I are on a lot of Facebook groups and other groups where they talk about this stuff where they, they're very honest, you know, and they'll say, oh, I bought this mattress and it was crap. And my partner and I tried this other mattress and it's crap. And then they tell the truth. And I, I don't know, have you found any downside to uh, Big Fig? One of the things I was worried about was whether the corners and the edges of the bed were going to hold up. They seem to be holding up so far. Yeah. No, I, I really have not found anything that like is problematic. Like usually um, it's the springs for me. And I do feel the springs 
with this bed. I'm not going to lie about that. Like you can feel them. Um, but they're not uncomfortable the way that like that Sealy was when I um, purchased that one. Like it feels like they're wrapped. I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it doesn't feel as prevalent with that like metal pushing against you. So um, you can feel it, but it's not distracting. It's not, it doesn't, it's, it hasn't created any problems for me. Um, I will say that, you know, the, I think the firmness is really helping with my lower back because the yeah. sleep number had been so like causing me to kind of have this weird dip. Um, cause like the foam would cover my head. So I'd be like kind of up mm -hmm. and then my body would dip where the air was, their mattress was. And so I think oh. part of that is kind of recovery too. um, dealing mm -hmm. with my lower back. So sometimes I'll have a little bit of stiffness, um, in, in my lower back, but I don't think that's because of the big fig, um, because it feels so much more supported. I, I've already noticed like a, a nice increase in that, but I think, um, because of the firmness, you probably could have some kind of stiffness sort of stuff, but I don't, I don't think it's to a point where it would be problematic. I believe that every single one of their coils is individually wrapped. Oh, th that makes sense because yeah. it really, you can like, when I'm like, cause I'm a side sleeper, kind of like a side stomach sleeper. Um, cause I use a big body pillow and I love their body pillow by the oh, way. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's much wider than most uh, body pillows. So I really feel like I can like put my leg around it and like put my arm around it. And it feels like, you know, I'm actually, um, have a pillow underneath me rather than like some of those other body pillows that you get. And it's like, they're so tiny that it kind of like just fits in your, you know, like, like a little, I don't want to say like a spoon, but just, yeah, like a little baby one. So this one kind of gives you some width, which is nice. Um, and I was afraid it was going to take up a lot of space in the bed, but it really doesn't, um, which is, is also good because, you know, I don't want to push my partner out to the, the edge of his side of the bed with my big body pillow. Um, but yeah, it's been, um, it's been really nice in terms of like when I'm shifting over, like I can feel the spring, but once I actually get into place, um, when I'm rolling over in the middle of the night, it doesn't, it doesn't have that pronounced feeling of like poking you. That's great. Do you, yeah. how about, do you feel like it gets hot or cold or do you notice any difference in temperature? So I'm kind of bad with that. Um, I don't think so. So I, because of the perimenopause, I'm having like night sweats. Um, but I bought their cooling sheets. Um, mm. And so when I do have like sweat in the middle of the night, um, when I get up to go pee or whatever, by the time I come back, it's, it feels like it's a little damp, but it's dry. So whatever the sheets are um, used, made with, it seems to have done, you know, a really good job in kind of reducing that. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. And then I was just looking up to see what is their warranty, but they're, this mattress does have a 20 year warranty. I believe that. That's pretty amazing. It, the, yeah. Well, I mean, even by now, like if I had from previous mattresses, just from like, you know, putting on socks, because I usually put socks on right and like on the bed, you know, so it's like I, you start to just kind of feel the dip, you know, on the side yes. of the bed. And I mm -hmm. have not experienced that, which is really right. nice. Yeah. Our, our old mattress definitely had the dips where. Yeah we use it for fun stuff and where I use it to put my socks on <laughs> mm -hmm. <Or> my <laughs> <pants too. laughs> for those days I had to wear pants, you know? Right. So what yeah. about sex? What do you think? I love Honestly. it. Yeah. Me too. I love it. Like it is, it's the firmness, the buoyancy of like, especially like being on top, like it's, uh, it's fantastic. Like it's giving you that stable base. And um, like you said, you know, the dips when you're having fun, like we just had that experience on the side of the bed and I didn't have to worry about the fact that, you know, I'm pressing against it because it held up. It felt like, okay, yeah. like, yeah, like we're at a point where it's like, this is made for me. This feels nice. This is how it should <laughs> happen. I know we, we need other manufacturers of all kinds of other products to think about us fatties. We yeah. want, we want the same stuff you all want. You know, we want bracelets and beds and cars and massage tables and all that kind of stuff for us too. And like, we are the majority. Why aren't you catering more to us? We have the money. We want to buy the stuff. Well, and I just go back to thinking like, if somebody's rich, like I'm talking like eat the rich kind of rich everything that they buy is large and luxurious. Nothing has like 
nothing is the standard stuff that they're selling to other people. So it's like, how do we not have this right or privileged? Because you're True. making it for people who are thin that have a lot of money. So why are you not making this for everyone that is the standard size of an American? Yeah. Right? Pretty much, yeah. We're the, we're the, um, yeah, we're the majority now. Yeah. And we have been for a long time, but yeah, it's, it's why you and people like you and me and Ashley and all of our friends are screaming from the mountaintops. Don't forget us. Right. We have, we all have jobs. We might not get paid as well as our thinner cohorts, but we're, we're working on that too, you know, but um, yeah. I, but I, we've I, got money to spend. I want to, especially on things that are super important, like sleep. I don't know about you, but sleeping is one of my hobbies. I love sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, oh, I'm a totally different person if I'm not sleeping well. Oh, and okay. so I, I refuse to, to compromise on that. And the fact that I had to do it for like a month and a half to two months uh, was enough. Like I was a miserable brat like the whole time. Cause I was just like, I'd wake up. I was unhappy cause I was sore and I didn't get good sleep. And just was like, you know, I'd approach the day with a whole different attitude. That's great. <laughs> it's so important. It's really, I mean, not getting your sleep can really cause like a psychosis. You have to, you have to get your sleep. What's really important. It's like breathing and drinking water. You need to sleep as well. You need to rest. And yes, this is, this is a form of self-care in a way too, is making sure you have, if you can, a quality mattress and getting your eight hours or whatever you need. I need eight. I don't know about you. What do you need? Eight, nine. I need at least eight. Yeah. They found that women going through perimenopause and menopause need on average nine. Mm, I believe that. I, always, I like it. I like a good solid eight to nine hours when I can, but I notice if I get less than seven, Oh, watch out. Yeah. I can barely complete a sentence. Yeah. And oh, don't, absolutely. You piss me off either. Cause I'm menopausal and <laughs> Right. So give me my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Anything else you think we should tell people about how our experience with these beds? Um, I just, uh, you know, if you're a person of size and like you said, if you can afford it, um, uh, this is an investment in yourself mm -hmm. and, and your well being. So mm -hmm. I really, um, I really champion people being able to, you know, set aside that money and invest in something that's going to be quality and good product. And, um, for over the month that we've been using it, I have not experienced any problems. I've really right. enjoyed it. Right. Um, the base has held up well. I love the adjustable base. That was a good investment for me because yeah. um, I like to sit up in bed when we Please watch TV or things like yeah. that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just like, okay, let's keep this technology going. Like, how do I get my foot warmer in this bed? Like, how do I get, you know, like the cooling <laughs> aspect? There's other things like, I can't wait to see this technology boom, because that's, like you said, we all deserve something nice like this. And, and it's really cool that Big Fig gave us this opportunity to experience that. We got to see what, you know, um, our editor is creating a new business called well, she's it's a cuddling business, right? She's going to start cuddling people professionally. Yes. So yes. big fig, here's the deal. <laughs> we have an amazing podcast. We have an amazing editor. She's also having this side job where she's going to professionally cuddle people. So cool. If you want to provide her a mattress for that aspect of her business, I guarantee you she will come back here to Big yes. Sexy Cat yeah. and have that conversation and tell you what people are experiencing on it. I mean, you have to be really comfortable in that sort of business line and setting. And so to have somebody, you know, have a really cool setup with an awesome mattress, like, right. okay, this could be something life changing and good uh, advertising as well. Yeah, and if you don't know what cuddling business or cuddling professional is, Google it. It's fascinating. It's really like a thing all over the country now. And I remember the cuddle parties that started about 20 years ago where people were having get-togethers, supposedly non-sexual cuddling, a cuddle puddle as they used to call it. But now it's also evolved into people having a business where they hold people, people that are, are and we know it's a, it's a crisis right now. People are not getting enough touch. And absolutely. Makes me I wonder why people are so ragey, you know? Yeah. More, more oh. orgasms, better sleep, and more touch. A thousand percent. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Mic drop. Like, we're, that's good. 
yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, we've really, as a culture, just struggled with intimacy, especially over the last couple of years. And mm-hmm. so um, having a business where you're creating intimacy, not sexual, just intimacy, um, that's important. And like you said, people need to be touched. That's why uh, massage is so, you know, like yep. it's so sought after. It's so important. And mm-hmm. how many times have you had a rough day and you're just like, I just need to hug. I just need to lay down and just hug somebody or like feel close to somebody or something. And, I, you know, I, I really have um, the highest of hopes that Asher Lee's business will take off with that because um, I think we need more holistic healers in the world. Yeah. So just before we end, I just was meant to ask you, James loves the bed too? Yeah. Oh, no. He, he really has been impressed with it. Yeah. Um, he's definitely enjoyed the sex aspect of it for sure. Right. Um, but I, I was really concerned, like I said, with him being such a wanting a soft mattress sort of sleeper, but he's, he's really enjoyed it and said, you know, it's, it's a good investment. He's like, I'm glad you got the sheets too. And the, you know, all the other awesome. stuff. Yeah. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. awesome. Thanks for sharing with everybody. And yes, we're so excited for Ashley and her new business. And, um, you know, we loved, love when you guys listen to our podcast and share our podcast with other people. That's really what we need is people to share it with other people to grow our community. And you can always um, email us if you have any questions, sexy at bigsexychat.com. Oh, and Murph, I forgot to tell you, I I got my first um, dick pic. Oh. Hey, big sexy chat. That's what the the person's calling me. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. He called it big. Yeah. Say it again. I didn't respond. I didn't respond. And then bam, here's the dick pic. I was like, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Whoa. No. I love that he, he, he somehow found that email address and instead oh, yeah. of even learning our name, just said, Hey, big sexy chat. In my phone. Oh, on your phone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not even the most attractive part of a man. And I, I mean, I love a penis, but you know, there's so many things that are more attractive. Than, let's show, show me a picture of your hands or your thighs, you know, like. Ugh. Show me, show me your bicep. Like yes. really like do this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll be way more interested in that than seeing your dick. Like I just don't get it. It's uh-huh. hilarious to me. It and I, I know that they want that kind of reaction, but right. yeah, it's just a joke. And it, it yeah, it, uh, I just blocked it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to block this guy. Yeah. Not even going to tell him how rude this is or obnoxious. No, not worth it. Boundaries, Crystal. Can't teach everybody. (laughs) I try. (laughs) Uh, Well, hey, uh, we're two years in. First dick pic. We made it, Crystal. We have. We made it, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But that's plenty, y'all. Yeah, we're good. (laughs) We we had the experience. We're done. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience, Murph. And um, thank you to Big Fig. We're so yes, grateful. Still, we're still like, what the hell did this happen? You know, it's so, it's yeah. very cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.